Welcome back everybody to the Jigsaw's channel. I had a viewer today ask me how reseller pricing works. So what I'm going to do on this video is explain to you how it works and basically the functions of it. So assume you have say I'm going to make it into layman's terms because not everybody out there is going to really understand if I get into technical terms. So I want to make it kind of open to everybody to understand who's either interested in getting into web hosting or is already into web hosting. So if I'm too simple for you, I do apologize. If you do want to know more technical aspects of it, feel free to comment down below. I do participate in all my videos and do answer and respond to all questions. Having said that, okay, reseller accounts, how it's priced. Essentially, a reseller account is a section of a dedicated server. A dedicated server is like a big computer hooked up to the backbone of the internet. And it's essentially, let's say, like a huge apartment tower. A reseller account is just a section of that maybe floors 10 to 20. That gets leased out or sold out. Let's say you're planning to buy a reseller account. Why would you buy a reseller account versus a whole dedicated server? It all comes down to dollars and cents. Do you wanna pay $250 a month for a dedicated server? As a average example, some are more, some are less. Or do you wanna pay $20 a month? It all depends what your needs are. The beautiful part is that you can always scale up. You could start paying $20 a month for a reseller account, moving up to a dedicated server, then multiple dedicated servers, as how we started years back. So, how is it priced? It's really simple. Let's take a dedicated server as an example. Let's just say the dedicated server costs $250 a month to operate. Now, how do we make or host makes money selling reseller accounts or how will you make money selling reseller accounts? Well, let's say you can fit 20 reseller accounts on that server as an example. So if you sell each reseller account for $25 a month, as an example, many hosts do sell reseller accounts for more, few of them sell them for less you'll essentially, once that server is sold out, as an example, you'll get $500 a month. Your cost 250, your revenue is 500, you're making about 250-ish dollars a month, if you break it down that way. Some people put 20 reseller accounts, some people put 40 reseller accounts, um, unfortunately, some even put more. There is a drawback of putting too many reseller accounts on a server, I know many of you know, but not everybody does. And essentially your server gets overcrowded and overloaded. What happens in that aspect is your website will run slow, the server will crash often. Even though you think you'll be making a big profit in doing so, you're gonna lose all of these customers that you've worked so hard to get. And then your reputation online, of course, will take a dive. So you have to find that, as a provider, you have to find that happy medium. You have to be profitable so you can stay in business, so you don't go out of business, yet you have to provide a level of quality where your clients are gonna be happy. So that's something you have to kind of weigh. Always go on the safe side first, and then you could gauge on down if your server can withstand more accounts or not. And on the server, it shows something called load averages, and it's three numbers, one, five, and 15 minutes, respectively, what are the load values? And it shows that on the server. If you want more questions about that, I can either do a video, ask me to do a video, I'll make one, or you can comment down below. I'll go ahead and answer those for you. But all you're doing is you're taking a server and you're subleasing parts of it out to other resellers that are gonna take those smaller portions and sublease those out. Same thing how an apartment complex works. No difference. Instead of leasing brick and mortar rooms, you're leasing space on the internet. I hope this video gave you value. 
Um, if you have any more questions, more specific questions, or want to know more, do comment down below. If you like my channel, you like the video, please subscribe, hit the bell notification so you won't miss a thing. Other than that, thank you very much for being here with me today. And if you have any other suggestions on what other videos you'd like for me to make, let me know, do comment down below. That's all I have for now, everybody. Thank you so much, have a great day, bye.